you've never won the Gold Cup, you've come closer than anybody. Um, is it written in the stars that Jack Adam is going to come and, and end your Gold Cup hoodoo this year? I hope you're right. Um, he He's had a good preparation this year. Last year he hadn't and he still finished second. The year before he was probably too young and he finished second. Hopefully everything has gone right this year and he can do it. It's probably a more open year than it has been for the last few years. Uh, he's been there, you know, nearly done it. Maybe this is his year. And, and I know in the Lexus you thought maybe if he's ridden a little differently, but that probably wasn't the real Jack Adam either. And, and you know he goes well fresh. Yeah. Uh, I took a lot more out of the Lexus and Ruby did too than most people so uh, we're just hoping what we took out of it is true. And hopefully by that stage you you will have won one of the championship races with, with Duvan. I think everybody has a mom was chalked down as a winner already which, which doesn't make it any easier for you but uh, he has been absolutely exceptional and I think we all just, just really relish and look forward to watching him in the champion chase. Are, are you of the same frame of mind? Are you looking forward to him running or are you dreading it? <laughs> a bit of both. Um, yeah, he obviously punters have made him, uh, you know, odds on what are the three or four to one on or something like that. I hope that's right and I hope it works out, but it doesn't make it any easier training him or watching him. And obviously, you're hoping everything goes according to plan, but but if you were to sum him up in one sentence, how would you sum him up? Uh, potentially, you know, he looks fantastic. That was quite good. Um, and uh, your novice chasers, um, obviously Min, it's disappointing that he won't be running in the Arkle, but are you likely to run Royal Caviar there? Royal Caviar goes for the Arkle. He probably goes there with a little less experience, but remember he was a pointed pointer. He's plenty of jumping done before he came to me. Uh, I think he's improved hugely from last year. He'll have to, to beat Altior, but uh, I think he deserves a crack at it. And many people's Willie Mullins banker of the week at a, a reasonably backable price is York Hill in the JLT. And I know he's a horse you've always loved. He is. And um, I toyed with the idea of going down the Champion Hurl route this year. But uh, then we went chasing. I'm going to stick with that plan. And the JLT looks a race that uh, he's well capable of winning. He, he jumped a little bit to the left, but that'll be OK around Cheltenham, I think. Uh, we're sticking with that plan and hope it works out. Not everybody was impressed with him at Leperson, but I think you were more impressed than most. Yeah, I, I just, I, I don't mind him jumping left. People, if he's going to jump anyway, and it, let it be left, especially for for that type of a track, uh, you know. But I have lots of horses that jump straight, but they can't go as fast as him. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let him jump whatever way he likes, as long as he can go fast enough. Absolutely. So you might be actually training him to jump left, are you? <laughs> Not quite. We're doing plenty of jumping straight with them at home, but you know when horses get into their comfort zone on the racetrack and they want to do what they want to do, and Ruby, I don't think it's going to interfere too much with them mm. as well as uh, you know if we can get them er get him there in one piece, um, and he can show his ability. I don't mind if he jumps a little left. Your leading uh, RSA hope all year had been Bell's Hill. Obviously, he was a very disappointing at at uh, at Leperton in the Flow Gas Chase. Is he is he still on course for the RSA? At the moment he's going there. Now he was disappointing in Leperton last year and I ran him in the wrong race in Cheltenham I think. Probably, he probably ran well in Cheltenham better than we thought because it was just I ran him as a supreme novice I think and uh, it looks obvious now that he just wants a trip so we'll stay going down that road. And um, usually at this stage you don't quite know who's your number one bumper horse and you're trying to decide which my Patrick White ride and spreading out the mounts. But this year you look like you do have a, a standout bumper candidate in Carter McKay who, who did something quite exceptional at Nace. That's right, he was good at Christmas but he was very, very good in Nace. Uh, he would look the, the one at the moment. And um, that race in Nace I think has thrown up a few winners, bumper, uh, Chatham bumper winners over the last few years. So... Uh, yeah, it's probably fair to say he looks the best of ours. And moving on to the handicaps, I know it's it's probably something you haven't looked in, in, in depth at, I suppose, and it's not something you're renowned for, but is there anything standing out, maybe Arctic Fire in the county hurdle or something like that for the handicaps? I, I think he's going to have too much weight, but we have a good few in, but uh, once again, we're, we're not sure how the British handicapper is going to uh, rate them. And until I see that, I find when, when the weights come out, you look at them and something pops out. Hopefully one will pop out this year, you know. Uh, we've been lucky enough the last few years in the handicap, so uh, we just have to wait and see what, what we get. And I know this is something you absolutely despise doing, but apart from uh, betting without Duvan, what's the best chance of a Willie Mullins winner at the festival? Oh, 
um, hate doing it, but uh, I suppose on the show must have a very, very good chance. The only horse we haven't mentioned, that was my mistake. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks for that, Willie, and a nice reminder. On the show, obviously, uh, Ryanair trip uh, is settling better this year and was very impressive at Cheltenham. You know, he, you must remember he won over two and a half miles on heavy ground as a four-year-old. I don't think the Ryanair trip is going to be any problem to him. I think he, you know, he ran into Sprinter Sacker last year. That's that's a fair horse to try and meet, but he ran well against him. And um, I think he's he's had two good trials this year, gone to England. You know, we know he's able to travel. He's been to France, back to France, been over to England. He's won his races. Uh, I think, lucky enough, things go right, he's going to be hard to beat. So not only is he the hardest horse to watch during his races, but now you've given him as the banker to meet, and so he's going to be even harder to watch. Um, maybe, but, uh, you know, he's, he's passed all his tests for this year, so hopefully he's the one.